If you shot some footage in HLG3 BT2020 colors and are not sure how to make it look normal, I'll show you how to do exactly that in this video. So here's how my original footage looks like. Definitely not what I want. But if I import this into Premiere and create a sequence, all of a sudden it looks normal again. But if I try to export it, it looks horrible. That's because the color spaces don't match. The HLG footage is meant for HDR, but I want to export my video in SDR, or basically normal video colors. So here's what you need to do. First, go to Sequence, Sequence Settings. Here, you need to change the color space. So open the drop-down menu and select Rec 709. I also suggest checking the Autotone Map Media. Okay, now we see the same image as in the original file. That means we have the correct color space in our sequence, but our clip colors are not mapped correctly. So next, we need to convert our clip to the same Rec 709 color. To do that, just select the clip in the media bin, right click, select Modify and Interpret Footage. Here you'll see a color management tab and we need to do a couple of things here. First, we need to convert our color space to Rec 709. So open this drop-down menu and select Rec 709. And second, we need a conversion LUT so the colors are mapped correctly. You could actually skip this step if you just select Rec 709 in your camera when shooting HLG, but if you choose BT2020, you need to convert the colors. What? I know this is quite confusing, but just hang on, we're almost there. To get the conversion LUT, I suggest visiting this website. I left a link to it in the description. Fly Henry has an amazing video on this topic as well, and you can get the corrective LUT from his website. Just type in your name and email and download the zip file. After extracting the LUTs, go back to Premiere and click Add LUTs here. And be sure to select the conversion LUT and not the artsy LUTs. Then click OK. And as you can see, your footage looks normal now. Of course, it's still a pretty flat color profile, so you can color grade it to your liking. But that's basically how you deal with HLG3 footage and BT2020 colors. So I hope this video helped, and I'll see you next time.